reading scriptures here. Philippians 419, getting all my needs met by Jesus. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Yes. And so it says, I'm casting my cares on Jesus. You're worried out there. Mm -hmm. Things ain't going the way you think right. they should go. Well, 1 Peter 5, 7 says, casting all my cares mm -hmm. on Jesus. Yes. I am casting all my cares upon yes. Jesus. Amen. Right. So there's what, who, what, what, amen. What, what you're saying. And another one says, let's go to Romans 8, 17. It says, I am an heir of God and yes. a joint heir with Jesus. That's right. Hello. Hello. Amen. I am a heir of God. And it says, I am, I, I, oh, Galatians 3, 13 and 14 says, heirs to the blessing of Abraham. Oh, that's right. Abraham had a lot of blessings. Oh, blessings right. That's what the scripture says. Right. Amen. We are the seed. Amen. Amen. So those are some of the things you could say. I'm above only and not beneath. I'm more than a conqueror. I am establishing God's word here on earth. Matthew 16, 19. I am overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word Amen. of my testimony. Testimony, Re yes. testimony. Revelation 12, 17. So what we are saying is so, so important. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you got something going on in you. We got a few minutes. Mm -hmm. What is God telling you to say? That's what I want them to put yeah. a guard on their tongue. Now, what would you have for yeah. our audience? They just got saved, just That's, got healed. Now right. they know how to talk. Okay. <laughs> One thing I want to just get across just today alone is that, you know, you can frame your whole day by what you say. What, she, what Pastor just said, exactly what I'm talking about. If, yes. See, what the Lord wants us to do, the Lord wants us to look upward. He wants us to be positive in yes. all that we do. He wants us to think, speak, act, and do. Because when we think it, then we're able to speak it. Okay? And also in your mind, too. You always got to make sure that He's coming first in your mind. Because there's a lot of people out there that mm -hmm. say, He comes first in my life. But is He coming first in your thought life? Wow. Help so us, we God. need Him. We need him to come that's first in good. our thought life. And he says Ooh. that we'll prosper in all things that we Ooh, do. That's good. What I'm just telling you today, remember 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says to walk by faith and not by sight. See, you might not see those things, but believe in God for his word because his word does not come back void. So those things that he's promised you, yes. hey, he's going to give them to you. So I'm just telling you out there to keep on pressing. And if you're already pressing, hey, let's press twice as hard because you know what? He is worthy. And Amen. He is worthy. Amen. Amen. That's just simply awesome. And when you were saying that thinking, you know, what came to me right away, I have a little, um, I, I try to get through this really quick. We only have a few minutes. Words. We talked about what you say. Words. And when you say words, it creates, it affects your thinking because you're saying a word. Okay. Yes. So a thought comes to you. The devil sends a thought, a dart. Bam. No, you take that word into captivity. Right. It says to bring it into captivity, yes. cast it down, yes. amen. And I choose to think on those things that are good, pure, mm -hmm. and of a good report. Yes. So the word, and this, so from words it go to thinking. So I'm gonna start thinking what God says about me. And we went over some of those illustrations. So once you get the words and the thinking, then guess what comes from that? It births decisions. That's right. I decide I'm going to walk by faith and Trend. not by sight. I decide I'm going to live upright. I'm not going to steal no more. I'm not going to drink no more. Right. And, and, and I'm words. I'm speaking. It. I'm healed. I'm delivered. Yes. I'm free. Amen. Uh, from your decisions, guess what? It it, that turns into your actions. That's Bam. Right. That's right. You got actions. And from actions, you continue when your actions, good actions, it produces habits. It becomes yes. a habit. You continue to do something. Yes, After right. 21 days, it is a habit. Right. And from habits, I love this one, character is built. Yes. Your yes. character, your integrity. Can I trust you when you say, well, I'm going to be there, Pastor, at two. That's right. Well, I know so-and-so mm -hmm. going to be there, too. Yes. Now, the other person say, well, I'll be there, too. Oh, they ain't even going to show up. They ain't going to mm -hmm. give you no call. What kind of character do you have? That's right. Amen. And from character, it produces your destiny. Ooh, I like that. So from your character, your destiny. So That's that right. means, hey, my name is written in the Lamb Book of Life because right. I choose Christ. I'm going to walk upright and I'm going to yes. do the right thing in Jesus' name. So I just I just wanted to kind of, um, you know, just kind of let you think about it all starts with your words. Your That's words right. are so important. You know what we say. Amen. Right. Amen. So we're coming to the end of our broadcast. Amen. So is there any last minute nuggets that you want to throw out there before we close out? Amen. I just want to say to all. Uh, all those people that are out there that um, to seek the Lord, trust in Him. Uh -huh. Psalms 91 says that, that He's our strong tower, our place of refuge. Psalms 23 says that the Lord is our shepherd. I just want to give Amen. you that word. Those are, those are uh, scriptures, uh, safety scriptures for you. Amen. That you know that He's there for you and that He loves you. Amen. In Jesus That's name. good. That's awesome. And you know, I love my favorite scripture is, I sit before you life and death, blessings mm -hmm. and cursings. And then he gives us the answer. He says, to choose life that you and your seed 
may live. Yes. Ain't that a good word? Yes, yes. Choose life. So he gives yes. us the answer. So one of the things I want you to check on our last little train of thought here, motives. What is your motive? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing what you're doing? Yes. Are you doing it for self gain? Mm. Are you doing it because the Holy Spirit told you to do it? Are you doing it to impress somebody? What is your motive? Yes. What is your motive? Amen. Yes. Put a check in our motives. Why yes. we're doing what you're doing. You know, Colossians 3.23 says, And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not to men. So what we should be doing, we should be doing it for God. I mean, just God, that's why I exist, Pastor. Yes, yes. yes. I mean, what other reason should I live? That's really? Right. Why am I breathing? Yeah. It's for him yes, right. to bring him glory. Amen. To, for those eternal things. Amen. And also Colossians 3.24 said, knowing that the Lord, uh, you will receive a reward of the inheritance and uh, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So, so whatever you do, do it for the Lord. Right. Do it as unto the Lord. Have the right heart and have the right motive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to our broadcast today. And Pastor, I just really enjoyed you. Thank so you. until next time, ladies and gentlemen, next time. Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. It was awesome. This was it was good. Oh, Praise the Lord. I want to preach. I can't wait When I get in trouble, Snitches, hit your misses, curse hit you, don't fix it, don't hold up.